Holy Stone just released a brand new Remote ID module that's kind of innovative. They kept the Remote ID functionality and added a strobe light and a Find My Drone buzzer and added only about two grams of additional weight. They almost hit a home run. Almost. Holy Stone's newest Remote ID module weighs in at just 16 grams, charges via USB-C, can be configured via an app to set up the RID parameters and the strobe colors and frequency, and can activate a locator beeper. I do like the gray color personally compared to the black one, which was the original one. And the new one does come with a nice weather protective cover here over the power and configuration buttons and the charge port, which is really nice. People always ask if this only works on a Holy Stone drone, and the answer is no. It can work on any drone that needs a remote ID broadcast, as it does have the FAA DOC certification, so on paper, it's a compliant remote ID module. The configuration is done through the Holy Stone Drone Finder app. First, configure the remote ID parameters as required by your country. Now, even though it shows that these items with the stars are required, in the US, this is not true. The only thing needed is a remote ID number, so just put in some alternate information in the other fields. For countries other than the US, check your local regulation for what might be required in your country and then fill it in here. And also under this is the configuration for the light and the operation of the buzzer. So when you set the light parameters, you'll click the power button to cycle through the light configurations. And the third click is where your choice that you just chose in the app will show up. Lastly is the buzzer in case you want to find the drone in the bushes somewhere. So that's pretty nice. And you enable the buzzer and it turns on an audible locator sound. Now, it's not the loudest buzzer, but I imagine if you were 20 or 30 feet away, you could probably hear it in a quiet area. Of course, I wanted to check out the broadcast since this is a remote ID broadcast module. So I took it out for a quick flight to see what the broadcast looks like. So I dropped it on a drone, turned on the light, and was able to track it through a flight. Went out near a VLOS about a thousand feet or so and was still visible on the app. So doing a good job from that standpoint. I really couldn't see the light at all after about 10 feet or so in the bright sun, but that's to be expected. I wanted to mention that there is a new scanner app that I'm using here too. This is a brand new release from Bluemark called Drone Scout. You should try it out if you get a chance because it is really good. It has a lot of features and a lot of details available. And I mean a lot of details. It's free. You can even save the track of your drone if you want. Pretty cool as far as drone scanner apps go. I think you're gonna have a premium version of this app as well that has even more cool features. And I think there's gonna be a fee for that one. And maybe I'll do a review on this one once it's shaken out a bit. I'll put links in the description where you can download this and learn more if you're interested. So overall, the module does what it's supposed to do, but it is not without some things that could be improved. First thing I did struggle with is getting the app to work on a Samsung Galaxy S20 phone, which is an Android. And it was a bit quirky. Sometimes it connected, sometimes it didn't. It was it was a little bit frustrating to be honest. I had to abandon my newest phone and use an older one and then it seemed to work better. So don't be surprised if you struggle a bit with the app. In this day and age where everything runs on an app, Holy Stone just needs to step up their troubleshooting a little bit and put a little more priority on debugging before they release their apps. Lastly, in the intro of this video, I mentioned they almost hit a home run with this. And that's because integrating a light, a buzzer, and the remote ID module all in one thing is really a great idea. According to Holy Stone, this is not a three statute mile strobe. This is a huge miss. If this were to be a three statute mile strobe, this single module could be the remote ID and the strobe in one light package. I would use this for every part 107 flight over people and at night if this were a dual module that had everything together because it would save me putting this and another strobe light on my drone. So it would save not only real estate, but it would save weight as well. Maybe you use it differently. So let me know. Good combo with remote ID, the light and the finder alarm, or do you have suggestions for improvements? Let me know in the comments and Holy Soul can get your feedback as well. Of course, I'll leave some links in the description where you can check out more details if you want to know more. I hope this was useful to you. And if so, slap that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time and next video, good flying.